got to strike while the iron's hot. The early bird gets the worm. Well, there's a problem with those. Sure, those are nice sayings. Uh, sometimes they might even work. Sometimes they might even apply. But they're, they're not perfect truisms. Okay? Because sometimes, just sometimes, if you strike while the iron is hot, somebody might get burned, okay? And that's not really what you're wanting with this particular situation. And the early bird gets the worm. Well, first of all, who really wants a worm? Unless you're a bird, of course. Secondarily, um, sometimes you get there too early and there's no worms there if you're really wanting a worm in the first place. So I digress. My point being, you may feel, you may feel that a strong action is necessary and that a strong action is necessary right in this very moment. But there's one part of you, there's one part of you that's hesitant. There's one part of you that feels a little bit uneasy about the decisions that you're taking into consideration. Perhaps rather than taking a strong, dominant, forceful action, it might be better to wait until you have a little bit of support for what you're trying to achieve, rather than going at it uh, all willy-nilly, half-cocked, rather than going at it full-cocked, right? <laughs> Better not go, you know, cocked at all, really, okay? Best to just handle it, not necessarily in a rational manner, but in a wise manner. There's a reason that part of you is feeling hesitant at the moment. And really, you need to honor that. You're looking at a situation, and in looking at that situation, it seems like it's going to bring some momentary fulfillment to a situation, well, that's kind of been lacking in that fulfillment for a really long time. And so it seems on one level, it seems on one level like, you know, this is rationally, this is really the best thing to do. And rationally, that might be the best thing to do, but it's not the right moment to do it in. And I can tell you that right now. If you are um, wisely hesitant about the situation and you use the particular time that you've got available to you, even though it may not feel like it's available to you at all, it is. If you use that time instead to replan, uh, kind of go back over old ground, see what is jiving well, uh, with your values and what's not jiving well with your values, rather than just taking a strong, forceful action. Something does need to change. There's no doubt about that, right? Something does need to change soon. There's no doubt about that. You do have the beginnings of a good plan in front of you, but it's just the beginnings. In order for those beginnings to um, really become something firm and to become something that's more concrete, you need to look at what is holding you back at the moment. And I don't mean look at what's holding you back so that you can you know, move that thing out of the way forcefully and shift it to one side. No, I mean look at what's holding you back because there might be a reason that something's holding you back. Something might be holding you back at the moment because you're not absolutely 100% certain. And because you're feeling some tension, because you're feeling some frustration, because you've been kind of having the brakes on for a really long time and one part of you is raring to go, you feel like, I've got to break through this somehow, some way, in some shape or manner. I've had the brakes on too long, and maybe now it's time to put the accelerator pedal on. But that accelerator pedal is not ready to accelerate you fully forward at the moment. And to try to pretend that it is, it's not really going to be helpful. 
As a matter of fact, you know, think of that thing that happens when you're, you know, when you're driving, if you've ever driven before, and you're in a car and you're, you know, going full force. If you were to accidentally tap that brake pedal, boom, you know, that would happen. And that's a jolt, right? So, you know, best to not deal with these pressure release, pressure release, pressure release scenarios, right? Instead, do something wisely. Don't do something under pressure. Don't act so forcefully that you end up, well, burning somebody, right? Striking while the iron's hot and you actually end up doing something that's not helpful to yourself nor to someone else, right? Rather than trying to be the early bird getting the worm, right? Recognize that perhaps, just perhaps, there's enough worms to go around if you really like worms in the first place. But I think you follow my point, right? My point is there's enough for everybody in this situation, whatever this situation might be for you. That's something that you're looking at is kind of going, well, I have to do what's right by me and I have to do what's right by me now. But doing fully what is right by you in the moment is only a halfway solution. Uh, Best not to do halfway solutions, better to have a holistic view on the situation that you're dealing with. That way you can go at it wholeheartedly rather than half-heartedly. And a wholehearted situation is really what you're looking for in the moment. If you could use a little bit of help with a difficult situation which might be plaguing you at the moment based around this uh, new moon in Uttara Falguni Nakshatra or anything at all, uh, please do feel free to schedule an astrological consultation with me, which are available through the Astrological Services page of my website. If you're interested in scheduling with me, you can follow the link above in this video. That's going to do it for this look at the new moon in Uttara Falguni Nakshatra on the 9th of September 2018. Until next time, please do take the very best care of yourself. Bye now.